Dana, deep thoughts with Dana. How the heck are ya? Welcome to the channel. Um, this is a reading for the sign of Aries. If you have Aries anywhere in your chart, this reading very well may resonate with you. Reading the reading Aries. This reading is um, a mess. It's a mess. It's a good reading, but oh, it's just a mess. We have so much to go through. So sit down, buckle up, and just be patient with me as we work through all these cards because these cards, each and every one of them, is a mental, emotional, or physical process that you have to go through to get from point A to point B. However long this takes you is how long this reading is for, right? Everybody always wants to know, is this the next two weeks? Is this the next month? It doesn't work like that. You know, all the YouTube people put out first of the month and mid-month readings and can it, can it kind of sort of resonate? Yeah, but you cannot put a time frame on tarot and spirit. You just can't. So it's from whenever it tingles until whenever it doesn't tingle. It just depends on you and your personal journey. Depends on how long it takes you to process all of these feelings, um, thoughts, and physical actions, and how long anybody else in the reading takes to process their side of things, right? So it's impossible. It's impossible to put a time frame on it. However, I can say that you should either begin to see this develop in your life within the next two weeks, or perhaps you're in the middle of this right now, or perhaps this has already happened for you and this is just confirmation of what you already knew in your intuition. Either way, it starts when it starts and it ends when it ends, okay? As always, do not make a life-altering decision off of a general tarot card reading. If you have something that you need to make a decision about, please make an appointment with your favorite tarot card reader and get a personal reading. My clients will tell you that a personal reading is literally worth its weight in gold. Okay. If you want one from me, there's a link in the box below. You can reach me at deepthoughtswithdana.com. We will hook it up just like this, just for you, just for your situation. Okay, Aries, like I said, bear with me. We got a lot to work through. The cards and the messages just kept popping all over the place, and I'm not going to stop spirit, so here we go. All right, so you open this reading, Aries, with the tower, right? There is a tower moment in your life, some kind of upheaval, right? There is some kind of revelation and awakening that you are having that is creating chaos inside of you, okay? This chaos is about reuniting or reconciling your differences with somebody in your past. The Princess of Wands says that you want to take, you want to explore and discover with inspired feelings, <laughs> you want to explore and discover the possibility of reuniting and reconciling with the Queen of Pentacles. This could be anybody. This is an earth card, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, okay? But you want to take some inspired action to reunite and reconcile with somebody from your past who represents who represents um, wifey material, okay? To the sun card. This, you believe, will bring success, vitality, and happiness into your life. To the six of pentacles, giving and receiving, right? Giving and receiving. Now, I also want to say that this could be this queen of pentacles person coming towards you to reunite and reconcile. But either way, whether it's you going towards them or they're coming towards you, it's creating a tower moment um, in your life, right? Tower moment, upheaval in your feelings. It's not like destroying your life. That's not what I'm saying. It's causing a tower moment in your feelings, in your mind. Nine of Swords comes in and says that you are in a state of high anxiety, high anxiety, some despair, 
tormented about this whole thing. But even though the Nine of Swords is quite a painful energy to be in, Nine is about fruition, attainment, conclusion, completion, fulfillment. Okay, this is where we get shit done in our mental, staying up at night, racking our brains, just this is where we get things done. Okay, so you are up in your head hard about your feelings with the King of Cups, about your feelings. Could be, um, yeah, up in your head about your feelings. Nine of Wands comes in and says, you feeling a rather hesitant about taking any action with the Eight of Wands just yet. Feeling rather hesitant about taking any action with the Eight of Wands just yet because you are still in the Nine of Swords energy with the Princess of Swords formulating a decision-making process, right? Not sure if you want to manifest this into your life or not. Not sure if you want to manifest a love relationship in your life with this person from the past, because in the past, there has been a misalignment of values and a breakup. This misalignment of values in a breakup is the three of swords, right? Painful separation, sorrow, grief, heartbreak, rejection, okay? Somebody hurt your heart in the past Aries and now they're resurfacing or you are feeling a draw and a pull to them and you want to resurface in their lives okay either way there's heartbreak right the three of pentacles says lack of teamwork and collaboration a disregard for skills somebody didn't appreciate somebody and there was a breakup because of it. Three of Pentacles always leans towards a third party situation for me as well. Just saying. Tower. This was a tower moment. Okay. This is a different tower moment than this. Oh, look, I forgot to tell y'all. I forgot to tell you. You're probably wondering why the hell there's duplicate cards all over the place. This is my old Tarot Alum Illuminati deck. This is my new Tarot Illuminati deck. I did the root cards with the old deck and I'm doing the clarifying cards with the new deck. I am not combining them together. I'm doing root with the old and clarifying with the new. That's why you see repeating cards, okay? So this tower moment is an additional tower moment, a previous tower moment, right? A previous tower moment because all of this happened way before this tower moment. So this caused upheaval and chaos in your life. It did. And it, and it might have been a revelation or an awakening about how you are glad because you didn't want this kind of thing in your life anyway. But nevertheless, it did create chaos in your mental and in your feels when this happened. Eight of Swords comes in and says that you kind of maybe still haven't gotten out of the, the, uh, the, the processing of what happened right here might still be processing what happened. And maybe that's why maybe you're resurfacing in their life because you're coming to some kind of mental understanding of why this tower moment happened, right? I don't know. I don't know. So Aries, what comes next is the fool card, right? Thinking about a new beginning and a new journey reuniting or reconciling your differences with this person from the past to the emperor. Okay. I think this person from your past is representing as the emperor. I think this person is somebody who is very much in charge, very much in control of themselves. Um, this person is someone who is wise. They might be older than you. Um, but they have establishment and structure in their life. And they, they, having them in their life would bring establishment and structure into yours, right? Because that's just who they are. The Fool card says that you're thinking about taking a leap of faith with this whole situation here. Ten of Cups comes in and says, you know, it, it, it could be. It could be the Ten of Cups. You guys had something good at one time, right? And then shit blew up and the tower happened and 
there's really not been closure since, right? So you're thinking that perhaps this could be the Ten of Cups, perhaps where there was a misalignment of values in the past, now there can be a, uh, an alignment of values and harmony and happiness in the relationship. The Two of Wands comes in and says, you have a serious fear of the unknown because you feel um, deceived or betrayed. I think it's more betrayed. You feel betrayed by what this Three of Swords situation was up here. And that's, that's at the forefront of your mind, right? Because this was painful. It was painful, even though maybe you have some understanding of what brought about this tower moment and this three of swords in retrospect, the pain is still real from the seven of swords, the first go round. Four of pentacles says that you're kind of in self-protection mode, right? Kind of in self-protection mode and you you to the princess of cups in reverse you got some 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 blockage of creation going on here you blocked creation of your feelings with this person out of self defense right and you have a blockage here a self inflicted a self induced blockage of any kind of creation in your feelings about this person from what happened back here but now you're kind of thinking about taking a leap of faith and seeing if y'all can work it out or not. Six of Swords comes in and says you are considering a transition, right? A transition to the Five of Cups. But, but, but you still have feelings of loss, regret, disappointment, and despair that linger in this entire situation. At one point, you had the Nine of Cups, right? And I hope this Nine of Cups doesn't mean that you're trying to drink away the, the ability to deal with these emotions, okay? And it can mean that. Aries, if you are self-medicating in any way whatsoever to avoid dealing with your emotions, you're only fucking yourself, okay? You're only fucking yourself. You got to deal with your emotions. If this is you, I'm telling you straight up, you have to deal with your emotions because the more you numb yourself so you don't have to deal with them, the more pain is waiting for you when you sober up. Just saying. But at some point, you had the nine of cups with this person, right? Wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, and satisfaction. And it is a burden and a struggle for you because you have a lot of feelings for this person. And either the revelation or the awakening that you want to take a leap of faith and pursue this again, or their appearance, reemergence in your life that's causing this tower moment is bringing you overwhelming emotion. But either way, Aries, you have the feels for this person. And the princess of pentacles comes in and says, by golly, you want to manifest an opportunity in this situation. The hierophant comes in. This is the card of Taurus, which you're dealing with an earth sign up here with the queen of pentacles. You could be dealing with the Taurus. You could be. You could be dealing with the Taurus, but nevertheless, this Hierophant right here is, it's not about commitment, okay? Even though re-engaging with this person would be a commitment, but it's not this kind of commitment. This Hierophant is about you coming to terms with your personal beliefs about the situation, the person, and yourself. That's what this card is about, okay? And you have overwhelming emotions when you do finally figure it out, which could be the tower moment, which is why you want to resurface in this person's life if this is you coming towards them. Epiphany, revelation of, of that you still have feelings for this person. To the Ten of Pentacles, wanting to build something of substance with this person, commitment, completion of all of the bullshit, the end of a cycle, right? 10, it's just like aces. It's a new beginning, but it's bigger. 
right? To the Five of Swords. This is interesting. The Five of Swords to the Five of Swords. Very interesting. This Five of Swords says, but, 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 but there's conflict and tension and loss and defeat and betrayal and mind games that are residual feelings, right? You have to get through all of this to even tap in to your emotions for this person, right? However, the Five of Swords in reverse, clarifying the Five of Swords in the upright, tells me that you are letting go of past resentment and you are now opening yourself up to change with this person in this situation. Seven of Wands tells me that you're challenged though. You're challenged in your feels with the Queen of Cups, which is the card of Pisces. You are challenged in your feelings because the Seven of Cups says that either you have options Aries, and this is simply an option for you, or you think it's wishful thinking that, um, that this relationship could ever work out. Spirit, tell me real quick, tell me real quick, is this Seven of Cups about Aries having options, or is this Seven of Cups about, I just dropped them all, or is this Seven of Cups about, <laughs> all right, to the Knight of Cups. Is this Seven of Cups about options to the Sun card? No, it's not about options. It's about you being concerned that it is wishful thinking for you guys, for you to be their knight in shining armor or for them to be your knight in shining armor and for happiness, positivity, and success to not only come from this, but to perpetuate in this, okay? All right. To the King of Pentacles. There is that earth energy again, right? This is the card of Taurus. Hierophant is the card of Taurus. Then the not the nine, the Queen of Pentacles up there is an earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. We have tons of pentacles all over this reading. So this tells me that you very well may be dealing with an earth sign or at least somebody who embodies the characteristics and qualities of an earth sign. So this King of Pentacles comes in and says that you are, are determined, okay? You are determined to gain control of this situation. Determined to gain control of this situation that you have ambitions to Prince of Pentacles it. You have ambitions, princess, ambitions to manifest a new opportunity in this situation. The Nine of Swords comes in and says, yes, in the past, it was a painful lesson. It was. In the past, it was a painful lesson. In the past, somebody was left out in the cold. But after much contemplation, after much reflection and assessment, weighing out the motivations, yours and theirs, observing, investigating, discovering, and coming to a truth with the ace of swords you see this as an investment worth doing because the profit and the reward is so great that it's worth the risk i saw a meme one time that said if i'm dating you i'm either going to marry you or i know the heartbreak will be well worth it and that's what you're doing here i almost called you scorpio Aries, you are either going to go all in and be together forever with this person and y'all are going to work out all the misunderstandings and the differences or it is going to be well worth the heartbreak one way or the other. There is some truth that is spoken probably between you guys, probably to yourself. This truth is probably this tower moment right here. And this truth brings you peace. It brings you peace and healing. And the Prince of Wands says this peace, healing, this truth, you are going to go forward with passionate action. Okay. You are going to, you are going, you have sufficient ambition 
to passionately take action to create this situation in your life of reuniting and reconciling your differences from a possible earth sign. If it is an earth sign, it's most likely a Taurus. If it's not an earth sign, this person who just rings your bells, just rings your bells. And I just get the overwhelming sense that the heartbreak, the pain, the sorrow, all of this from the past, I think is a misunderstanding of some sort. I just get the feeling of, of, a, of miscommunication. But anyway, nevertheless, that's neither here nor there because you have it all worked out, Aries. There you go. That is your reading. I hope it resonates with you. If it doesn't resonate with you, walk away and leave it where it is. If you'd like a personal reading with me, you can hit me up at deepthoughtswithdana.com. Namaste.